Hey guys, it's uh, the, um, well, former LEGO Super Reviews here, bringing you with a new channel update and a uh, review of the starter pack from Disney Infinity. You may be wondering, uh, hey, why are you doing this and not LEGO? Well, I've decided to expand my channel to um, more things than just LEGO. I've decided to do that. I just find it can start to drag on sometimes when doing LEGO reviews. Don't worry, I'm still doing them. I'm just kind of splitting off to different directions and just kind of doing other things, just to try other things out, and just, yeah, there's an experiment on that one. Anyway, today we're reviewing the starter pack for Disney Infinity 1.0, if you guys who are looking for 2.0 are wondering. Um, this set was, I believe, $80, $75, it's been a long time, I pre-ordered it, and it comes with a playset piece, a power disc, and three characters, the game, and the base plate. Okay, so let's get right into the figures themselves. And here are the three figures from the set. Um, these you get Captain Jack Sparrow, Sully, and Mr. Incredible. They all come in the starter pack, and I bet I believe other than ordering them off a website are only available in this starter pack, so you probably want to get that. Captain Jack Sparrow here, we'll start with that. Is a thin model and he's really well sculpting and this is really well put together. Some people believe this would just be a cheap knockoff. It's not. It's actually really well constructed and they really wanted to make a good game and it is a good game it's not a ripoff of Skylanders I really don't mind that game I don't really hate it I don't really like it but hey alright so he's a really good figure and then we got Sully who's from the Monsters University playset and he is he I believe he's modeled after the universe Monsters University the movie uh, he does have the Monsters um, uh, one on uh, Monsters Inc the original um, little flooring. I forget to mention that each have their own little universe's flooring. That one has planks for the ship. That one has road, broken road. But he is a big, bulky figure. He looks like his his arms can be articulated, but they cannot. And he's really well sculpted. And there really are rarely any blips on these figures. Just kind of little paint blemishes or anything. They're really well put together. And then there's Mr. Incredible, which is, I believe, one of the most popular of the three. And he's not as bulky as uh, Sulky, Sully, but he's pretty bulky himself. He's got the incredible logo on him, and he's red, and he's got what I believe to think is underwear, but it's not. Um, he does have the broken road piece, and these little clear plates that sit firm on the base plate, which I'll get into later. He does have his mask, and just everything like that. And those are the figures. They're all really fun to play with, and everything else. So next, we'll get to the power disc and the playset. So here are the um, the playset piece and the power disc. This is the power disc. Power discs implement things into your game, which uh, can make the game really fun and add on to your experience. These are very important. The only problem is that they come in blind bags. It comes in the starter pack, not this one in particular. They are randomized, so you never know what you're going to get. Even from this one, I, I was lucky enough to get this one. A cousin of mine got the... Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Angel Missile little character disc, which I have like a hundred of those right now. Uh, I do have all of Series 1. I'm going to review on those later. I'm all ready for this. I've already pre-ordered 2.0. I can't wait for that game. But this is Cinderella's Coach, which you just get a coach and you drive around. It changes the music, which is pretty neat as well. And there's different kinds of power discs. You can get three kinds. The red outline, which is a circle, which is a character disc, which you set on characters and they improve their uh, stats and experience. And there's the orange one, which is this one, which is a toy. It looks like a ball on the bottom, and it just implements stuff into your toy box. And then there's the pink ones, which will change the texture of your playset, which is really good, because it just adds on to the game's experience, and it's, it'd be unique. Excuse me, I got the hiccups right now. As for this, which is the playset piece, which is the starter pack one, you get three kinds. You get the Monsters University one, you get the... Um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and you get the Incredibles, both all of them which are really fun. One of my favorites is Pirates and Incredibles. I like Monsters University, but I prefer these two because they're more entertaining and more action packed. I know this is more stealth paced, but I'd rather prefer these two. Um, the issue with this is that I'll get into the base, but there's an issue with this and the power disc, which isn't really too bad of an issue anyway. So let's get on to the base and the actual game. Okay, so this is the base in the actual game. Um, the base is very nice and well put together. The Skylanders one looks slightly cooler, but hey, this looks just as good as well. Not just as good, but pretty good. 
So you get two slots for your figures, which you can put the character, which fits nice and firm in there. Just gonna move that over. And you can put him if you want to have him in the toy box. You have up to two people. And then over behind here, you can set the playset piece, which implements stuff into your game. But the issue is, is that this isn't really, uh, it, it just kind of is a flat piece. And the power discs only work in toy box mode, except for the character ones. And they just work like that. But you can't set on both, which is not too bad of a problem. But it's still a really good game. And it's just... It's, I really wouldn't mind it either, so that's a plus. And as for the game, it's, I have the Wii U copy, and I'm going to get a Wii U copy for 2.0, so there's no couple, um, complaining with that. Um, and there, it, on the back it tells you all these plays, that, all of which I have, with some exception of some characters. I don't have that one. Um, but these are all really, really good characters and figures and everything. And this works with all controllers, except for the Wii wheel. <laughs> like, that would work. Um, and that would be about it for this game. So let's go over to the overview and the end of this first real new start to the channel. So, one last thing before I go. This game is perfect. Well, not the best game ever, but it still was a really great game. But one thing, one of the main focuses I have to say, guys, and I'm really sorry for not uploading for a really long time, mainly because I was YouTube uploading issues and everything, and... Uh, we just recently hit over one year on YouTube, which is really a great start of the channel. And we get a, we get starting to get a pretty good following, over five subscribers. That doesn't seem like much right now, but it, it's pretty big to me, and I love the support that you guys are giving me. I'm going to have to say thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, and it really means so much to me to help me out. Now, if you're wondering about the background, the um, I, st I, I moved over from... Uh, Florida to Illinois, and uh, a lot, my desk doesn't quite, didn't survive the move, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to stick with this until I find an adequate area, or this will just have to stick with it for a while. It's just a bit important update, guys. I have to really apologize for this, and it will not happen again. Anything, like at least, it's been about five months or so since my last upload. I'm very sorry for that, guys, and I am really happy to be back on this channel, guys. Thank you so much for being on my for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe. See you guys next time.